today in our 2017 Audi A4. We'll be looking at our best hitch options. All right, we have two options here today. On the top, we have a draw tight class one, part number 24830. And on the bottom, we have a Kurt class one, part number C11186. There's really only two differences between the Kurt and the draw tight hitches that we have here today. Our Kurt hitch here has this flange that's welded around the opening of the receiver and it gives it a more finished look. It's not just a square piece of metal that's cut off as you can see on the draw tight. It's just a little bit of an accent that helps give it a little bit more of a classy look. Besides that, our Kurt hitch here, if we're using it for a non-trailer application such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier, it does require the use of a stabilization strap to help support the load. The draw tight hitch does not. Both of these hitches do not require any drilling or welding to attach them to the vehicle at all. It uses existing holes and clamps to the frame rail. The only modification required to the vehicle itself is a little minor trimming to the fascia of the vehicle. As you can see, it sits very nicely behind our vehicle and is nice and tucked up underneath the fascia. Very little is hanging down just the class one inch and a quarter receiver and our safety chain loops right here. Both of these hitches will look about the same underneath the vehicle. They'll both have about the same measurements too. You'll have about four inches from the center of the half inch diameter hitch pin hole to the remote point in the back bumper and about 10 inches from the ground to the top of the class one inch and a quarter opening. All right, both the hitches that we have here today are class one hitches that have a 200 pound max tongue weight rating and a 2000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. You'll wanna consult with the owner's manual of your Audi A4 and see what the vehicle's rated to tow and go by whichever number is less. You don't wanna exceed the limits of the vehicle or the hitch itself and cause damage to either one. Now, since our Audi A4 is more of a high-end vehicle, my personal preference is if I was gonna be purchasing one of these hitches for it, I'd be going for the Kurt just because this collar right here has a more refined look and it looks really nice underneath the back of our vehicle. You don't really wanna have anything hanging down that doesn't look refined when you're driving an expensive car. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Audi A4. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.